My name is Daryl Harding. I drive for Florence Unified School District. Been driving for eight years. Um, I drive out of Post and Butte, drive for Post and Butte High School and Magma K-8. Uh, precautions that I use for students on the bus mainly is objects that they have in their hands, pencils and stuff like that. Um, I try to make sure they're not allowed to have them out and sometimes they don't understand that because they want to do homework and stuff objects that they're throwing or whatever but noise level so I can hear the radio hear ambulances and stuff like that but more important is the outside when I'm pulling up um, kids have a tendency to want to be on the bus first so they start pushing some step off and try to come toward the bus and um, so we try to stop that no pushing and shoving trying to be the first one on the bus and exiting the bus we worry about um, other cars that are coming um, although the kids think it's safe and we try to be as safe as possible, we've had a lot of cars that run our stop signs. So we try to make sure everything is clear before the kids just scatter off the bus. My name is Shannon Weber and I'm the Director of Transportation for the Florence Unified School District. And this week we are recognizing National School Bus Safety Week. One of the safety tips we've been reminding students about and focusing on this week is the school bus danger zone. It's a 10 foot perimeter around the school bus on the ground where the driver cannot see students or pedestrians. It's a good reminder for your children as they approach the school bus and unload from the school bus to make sure that they are outside of that danger zone. This is just one of the many tips and reminders we're offering students in an effort to improve school bus safety. My name is Lenin Maqueda and I work at uh, Boston Butte Bus Barn. I've been working for Florence Unified for a little over 12 years. Hey, every day is different, but I'm here early in the morning to assist every driver. Uh, depends what they need. If they need assistance, I go ahead and help them. And when it's time for me to drive, I go ahead and drive. And during the day, uh, we work here in the shop, uh, uh, dealing with uh, maintenance, oil changes, or uh, doing uh, any kind of repair on the bus. Uh, number one is safety for us. We make sure we check everything. Even though the driver is to be checking part of the safety stuff, we go ahead and check everything. We check tires, we check brakes, we check buzzers. Uh, all, all of the emergency windows, make sure they are all up to date. Make sure the inspection sticker is, is uh, update. And also the, the items with, for, for safety, like the fire extinguisher, body fluid, reflective triangles, everything is update. That's all. Uh, uh, that's one of the biggest concerns we have here. Hello, my name is Sergeant Valdez with the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. I've been employed with Pinal County for approximately 13 years. Right now, I'm a patrol supervisor in Santana Valley. Inspections in the state of Arizona are done by the Department of Public Safety annually for the safety of students and passengers within all school districts. This is a collaborative effort between the mechanics, the directors of transportation and bus drivers to make sure that these vehicles, the buses, are safe for all passengers on a daily basis. 